Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on Windows Phone 8 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn mobile app development. This is part 19 in this series entitled SQL Server Compact Database for Windows Phone 8 App Development using C Sharp. To use it, we have to install SQL Server Compact Toolbox and then MS SQL Server Compact 3.5. Make sure you have internet connection, then click Tools, Extensions and Updates, Online. Then search for SQL Server Compact Toolbox. There, download it. Click Install. Click 3.5 SP2. Click download. You will see this file SSCE runtime enu that exe being downloaded. Once finished, click the file. Before you click Browse, go to the Windows Explorer, go to Drive C, and create a new folder. Let's call it SQL Server Compact Toolbox. And go back to our file, click Browse, and look for your folder in Drive C. There. Double click it and click OK. Click OK. Now that the files have been extracted, let's go to our new folder. Uh, the first thing that you have to run is uh, the the one for 32 bit, this one with x86. So double click it. Click next. Click next. There. Say yes. Finish. Then the x64. Next. Next. Repair. Then click finish. Let's go back to Windows. And we have to restart it now. Now that we've installed SQL Server Compact Toolbox, we can proceed with our activity. Here, we're going to use Windows Phone Data Bound App Template. We're going to add a SQL Server Compact 3.5 connection with one table that has two fields. We will change the text box in the long list selector to find ID and name fields. Let's create our new project. It should be Windows Phone Data Bound App, and we're going to call it App19 underscore 1. Click OK and OK. As of now, you can not still see the toolbox. So click Tools and you will see the SQL Server Compact Toolbox. Click it. Now you will see it on the side. Let's right click it. Add SQL Server Compact 3.5 connection. Click Create. Let's look for our folder. We save it in WP8 folder and our app is 19.1. Let's call it student and save and OK. Let's go back to our SQL server. There is now our uh, connection. Click it. Right click table, build table. Let's name it students. Uh, this is our primary key. The second field is name. Its data type is nbarcar. Let's click script and then execute. You can close it now. Let's go back to SQL Server Compact Toolbox. Consider the tables and there we have one table. Right click it and edit top 200 rows. Let's, let's enter some names, Ali, 
Ahmed, Salim, Abdallah, Azam, Muhammad. Okay, I think that's it. Let's close it. Let's close it. Next, uh, let's right click our project, add an existing item. Let's look for our folder again. It's in WP8. It's 19. That when there is our connection, our SQL Server. Uh, there it is. The build action change it to embedded resource. Now go back to our SQL Server compact toolbox. Right click it and add Windows Pwn data context to current project. Student context and click OK. Now let's try to double click this one. You can see that it automatically created the class for us. Now let's go back to our SAML. Okay, this binding line one will change it to one of our fields. Let's start with ID and line two to our second field name. Now we can go to the code. We need to change this on navigated to method with this one. Remember our context there. Let's define it C is equal to new. Our student context there. Again, our student context using the connection stream. So we'll create it if not exists. Let's also have some log debug set to true. And the main long list selector, its item source, will set it to our connection, our database converted to list. That's it. Let's try to run it. There you have it, our simple application for SQL Server Compact Database for Windows Phone 8. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Mas salama.